Hello again, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a review on the La Sportiva G5, more, in a, more of an in-depth kind of review. So this is the, uh, the boot. For me it's, uh, it's a really striking boot. Got a big yellow rand coming up around the whole, whole of the boot. Uh, you can see that it's uh, it's got a really thick and deep sole to it. Uh, I'm going to go into the insulation side, so I'm going to unzip it first. So it's a fully insulated B3 boot. It's really, really simple to get on and off. One of the main features is the bower system. So it pops out like that, doesn't do anything. And then if you pop it in, it tightens up. So it's getting really tight around here now. And then if you want to unpop it, it gets loose again. So because of that, it's uh, really simple to get on and off. Um, now, one of the features that I love is the thickness of the Velcro strap. You can see that it's about three centimeters across or one and a half inch. Because of the thickness, it spreads the pinch point. Well, there isn't really a pinch point because of the thickness um, and it keeps your, your foot in place. So it goes all the way around. Um, there's like um, a handle here as well, which, which really helps if you want to get your foot out quickly, just apply pressure on the handle, um, which yeah, you can get in and out really quickly. Um, so comfortability is the main thing that I go for with these boots. I've been through a lot. I've been through the Scarpa Phantom Tech. Someone messaged me on their Instagram um, recently and just you know we said can you compare it against the, the phantom tech i can do because i've worn the phantom techs i bought the phantom techs i sent them back the reason i sent the phantom techs back was because of the um the lacing system i just thought was was a little bit odd um in that you know it got quite loose quite easily and to access that you had to unzip and then you know redo your laces and i thought well if you're on a glacier and it's you know, minus 15. I really don't want to be messing around with my laces. So that's where the um, the bower system comes in really handy. Um, the weather protection on the Phantom Tex, Gore-Tex, this is Gore-Tex Infinium, which just means this is a bit more breathable. Um, I've had this boot in five and a half, hour, five and a half hours worth of snow. And... Um, it was really good. I had no issues. Super, super, super warm. Um, my feet weren't wet, so I don't know how the system works with the Infinium. Um, but yeah, my, my feet were absolutely fine. That was up Trevan, that top right corner for that, if you want to watch that. Um, one of the one of the sort of one of the features that I really like about this boot is if the lacing sorry if the zip was to ever fail um i could use the velcro as a backup and i know i know some boots just don't have that the phantom tack doesn't have that the north face torre torre egger torre egger i think that's how you pronounce it they don't have the velcro backup um and there's quite a few other v3 boots that don't have that so yeah, that's a really neat feature for me, the Velcro. It gives me some peace of mind. Um, you can tighten your the ankle part as well. So if you pull that, it just, you know, encloses around the sock, um, you know, to keep out all the, you know, the, the snow or whatever. But I, I don't really have to use that, to be honest. Um, then there's like a little button that you press there and you can, yeah, that's how it sort of comes back out. Um, 
I've used this boot now three times. Um, it's actually a pretty good hiking boot, which I was really shocked by. I've been up uh, Skidder and Helvellyn in England, um, pretty high mountains. Uh, well, by English standards, pretty high mountains. Um, you know, they're, they're like 900 plus metres and it was really comfortable. The one thing I personally had to do was I had to change out the, uh, the inner soles. Um, I got... Let me just see if I can get this for you. I got the Shoal Active Gel uh, Inisoles. They look like this. They're, they're about £13, GBP. Um, they're just much more comfortable than the Last Bottiva original ones. Uh, for me, these worked really well. So I'd, yeah, I'd highly recommend these. It just had another layer of comfort. Um, and it just sort of, you know, adapted to my my sort of shoe size. One of the questions that I've been asked is um, if the boots are true to size. I think they're slightly bigger because I have the Last Sportiva Equilibrium LTs and they're a 47 and these are a 47. Um, and I think these boots fit slightly on the big side, so... That's one of the reasons why I got the um, I got the insert. So just be careful with that, um, and I'd say just check them out around your your house um, for a fair few hours. I know it's a bit odd, but just sit and wear them for an hour and and see how your feet are, because it's nothing worse than having boots that just don't fit right. Because any issue will just get amplified. You know, four, five, six hours on the mountain, even if it's a slight issue that issue will just get, you know, bigger and bigger. So, um, price-wise, these are a £500 plus boot, uh, depending on which store you get them from, which is a hefty price tag. Um, but I just think, yeah, your feet are the most important thing, so I think it's worth it. The reason I've got these is for Mont Blanc, uh, and also I want to look at more vertical climbing as well. Uh, some of the gullies, like Ben Nevis, gully number four, it's got my name on it. Um, the Cullen, Cullen Ridge as well uh, in the winter. Uh, so there's some, some exciting projects that I want to get stuck into possibly later on this year in winter or maybe next year. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, that, hopefully that's a good overview. Um, there's another thing with the bow system. Because the, the, um, the button's on the outside, you've just got to be careful because rocks can hit that like that. So just make sure your trousers and gaiters are wrapped around it to protect it because if that goes and you rely on the bow system, then you really are screwed. Um, I don't really use the bow system that much. I just use the Velcro um, pull, up, pull across and, and that's all I, I really use. I don't really tighten it um, myself. Um, but yeah, it's a really lightweight boot as well. Uh, you'd be surprised, but for me, the, these are um, they're about two ki two kilograms for, for both of them in a, in a size 47, which is about the same as the Scarpa Phantom Tech. Um, so yeah, looks, I'd probably say nine out of 10 for looks, if not 10. Uh, comfortability, I'd give it, um, I'd give it a nine, um, just because the, the inner soles that La Sportiva do aren't great I, I you know i'd recommend that you get your own inner soles um in terms of hiking um i'd give them an, an a out of 10 um and in terms of warmth i'd give them a nine out of ten um so pr price i'd probably give that a seven out of ten um but yeah i mean it's an unbelievable boot i've gone through a lot i really have but this one here i know is going to see me through all of my adventures um i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have um consider subscribing for more videos similar to this i'll probably start doing more review videos as the uh, the months go on uh, drop us a comment let me know what you think if you've got these boots um yeah drop us a comment um and yeah hit the like button as well um, but yeah, that's everything uh, from this episode. So uh, until next time, take care.